Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea and this reading we're going to find out who has been spying on you and why. Today is the 12th of June 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 6.03 a.m. And Virgo, I'm giving away a free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance of winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirit City Angels, please show me who has been spying on Virgo and why. Please bear in mind that Virgo roles can be reversed between you and this person. For those of you who prefer to book me for a personal reading, that is way more accurate. All information is in the description box below. Thanks for being here, Virgo. Oops. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Who has been spying on you, Virgo? Five of Swords. This person can be a bit deceptive or likes to play mind games. Or it could be feeling like, okay, I need to plan something. Um, they could be spying on you because they're planning to get your attention, okay? Because we've got the Queen of Wands. So that means they really want your attention. So your person could be spying on you, but also at the same time doing something to try and get your attention. Um, four of Wands is right here. It feels like they want to um, spy on you because they want to see what you're doing inside. <laughs> okay, this is a, a castle, like the Four of Wands inside, right? So something about what you've been doing on the inside. So however you would like to see it. it could be inside a house or in your private time uh, during your private time um four wands could also mean that this person could be spying on you because they want a relationship with you or that they want to reconcile with you especially if both of you are separated and we've got the nine of swords right here in my verse this person could be a libra gemini aquarius aries could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces again. And unless the Queen of Wands is this other person, then Virgo, you may have somebody very competitive who would, you know, could be starting something new um, where they may feel very competitive with you. Hope that makes sense. It could be in the same line, same, same industry or similar things that you are doing right now. But I feel like maybe there's somebody who's, you know, who wants to be inspired by you or could also be trying to compete with you. And with the judgment here, trying to see any sorts of information, find out any information about how you do, how, how you go about doing things or talking to people about you, asking about you, unless it's online, okay? But now the swords from verse seven of wands. Uh, Virgo, you may have somebody where you have kept them out. Okay, either you don't want this person to get very close to you um, because there's a separation, or it could be because this person was stressing you out, or the, you know, high persistent of verse. You may have tried to sort of like also walk away from this person with the Ten of Wands. Something was being revealed about them, whether it's their personality, behavior, information, and the fool. This could be someone, Virgo, where you may have liberated yourself from them. <clears throat> you made a judgment call where it, maybe you feel like it's best for you to just walk away from them or like stop them from coming closer to you. Um, <clears throat> The fool wants is inside and the fool is outside and judgment is outside too. So it could mean that this person will be spying on you, wanting to see what you're doing inside and out. So basically everything. And the high priestess in reverse trying to get some information about you that you may be gatekeeping. You could be gatekeeping certain information. I feel where this person, the more that feeling of like the more you are gatekeeping, the more you keep it inside. 
like you don't want anybody to know don't want them to, to know the more curious they are so that's how it feels like it's that that one person Virgo where you're extra careful and you don't really want them to know what you're doing okay it could be someone you work with or someone you could be romantically connected to right now or in the past could be a friend could be anybody this actually just reminded me of like i used to have a diary uh like a journal diary but because i love to write but um but i stopped i stopped doing that because there's always somebody who would sneak into my diary and read it whether it's my mom or a friend and they do it behind my back um <laughs> so since then i told myself i i can't keep anything to myself i can't as long as i'm writing something um down on some like a piece of paper or book someone is gonna want to see it uh, or that they'll come by it and they'll read it and you know as you guys know a diary is something very private right but so i got this this friend of mine she saw me writing my diary she's like what are you doing and i was like oh just writing my you know my diary she's like oh i could see in her eyes like she was curious it's like let me hide this real well you know and um before she searched for it because my mom was already doing that like reading my diary secretly right so but anyways um, I had a feeling she was gonna try and read my diary <laughs> so one time I just like walked away but I came back very quickly because I had a feeling like obviously we all have intuition but mine is especially heightened so I was like I think she's reading my diary right now so I came right by I went to the bathroom I came right back out like walking really quickly and I saw her holding my diary and like quickly threw it to the corner of the room because he was she was caught right so but anyways something like that right Virgo the more you keep a secret it feels like it could be a secret or anything that you are tr you've been trying to gatekeep from this one particular person that's that one person who has been spying on you okay and now spying could be online but it could also be reading your stuff especially if this is someone where you are in close proximity with okay reading your stuff going through your desk if you work with this person um just you know going through your things and um <laughs> yeah i i, I, I re usually when i do this reading if it used to feel more like an online thing this time for some of you virgo this could be it feels a bit more physical it feels a bit more like in real life present where this person could be spying on you okay not just online could also be online but yeah it's something you are maybe keeping it trying to keep it out of reach locking it or you know you try to put it in a safe place could also be your phone okay your phone where you know there's a lock in your phone to password can also be going through your phone and it, it feels very strongly that energy okay for go instead of social media because usually when i ask that question who's spying on you and the will fortune always comes out this time it didn't come out and i also feel like a bit physical i feel like a bit of a touch here on my right arm so um i get goosebumps as well so uh virgo i feel like this is someone maybe there could be one or two you know people spy on each other all the time online and i think that's a norm but i feel like this person is especially close to you okay um three of wands yeah it could be but three of wands could be long distance if it's long distance then it could be online or and another thing i'm picking up on especially if they have like certain password to your i don't know it could be some password to your email or something like that it feels super personal okay not just really just looking online although that could be a possibility you know because most people have access online but unless you block them right seven on ones can indicate that you block them then they could be spying on you through other people's um or mutual friends account I have that happen to me one time when a friend said, hey, can you look up this person for me? 
uh, on Instagram. I was like, why? Why can't you look it up yourself? And she's like, because he blocked me. I was like, oh, but his account is like, um, either it was public or it was because we were also friends or something. But anyways, so yeah, it could be that as well for some of you, Virgo. Now the Eight of Swords, they could be spying on you also because they've been thinking a lot about you nonstop. They're sort of like going crazy, right, with the Nine of Swords in reverse. The more you keep them out of your space, whether it's mentally, emotionally, physically, the more they're curious, the more they want to find out because that's going to give them like a sense of peace, right? This also reminded me of uh, a guy I was dating, but I told him, you know, I was, I wasn't, I didn't want to date him anymore, basically. Uh, for many reasons, turned out he was kind of like, he was very self-centered in so many ways. Um, always him, 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 him. And um, I just felt weird about it. So... I felt like, okay, I think this is not somebody where if I was to ever get sick and it, if we were to grow old together and if I'm sick, I don't think this person is going to want to take care of me. <laughs> not that I'm expecting to, but what's the point of having a partner? What's the point of living together or being married or being in a relationship with somebody if you're the only one who is going to make sacrifices while they won't? And you can see these red flags, these signs already from, you know, you just have to keep your eyes open and your ears open and your intuition as well. So I had a feeling that this is not somebody who would be there for me in my, you know, in times of need. If, you, if you're going to have a partner, it's not going to be there for you in times of need, whether it's for whatever reason, okay, when you grow old, when you get sick, whatever it is, um, if they're not going to be there for you, then what's the point? You might as well be alone, right? You might as well be single. <laughs> because being in a relationship means you have to spend money, you have to spend your time, your energy onto somebody when you feel like it is not worth it uh, because this person is just really self-centered or a narcissist um, into themselves a little bit too much um, who you can see that when they need something, they expect it from you, but when you need something, something when you're in need, they're not going to be there for you. So I feel like Virgo, the Fool and the Ten of Wands here, this could also be somebody who is pretty self-centered, okay? Um, they want to know things about you so they can feel a certain way because the Fool is like that feeling of like, yeah, I'm on top of the world. Um, and that... It's like a very freeing energy, just knowing those things about you from you. It's very freeing. So, but anyways, I I stopped dating him and I said my goodbye. But then two days later, he wrote me again and he goes, um, you know, I would like to see you, blah, blah, blah. Um, unless you're currently... If you ever, unless you've already dated someone new. I think that was his way of investigating too, like wanting to know if I'm seeing somebody uh, since, you know, we separated. So it could be something like that also, Virgo, because, you know, it may not be you blocking this person, but you may be keeping certain things to yourself, you don't really want them to know. And so they, the way this person could be spying on you is by also asking certain questions, okay, just so that they can get the information, so that they can feel free uh, or use that information to their advantage because the foul swords here can indicate them, you know, it's a form of manipulation through words, okay, or it could be like physically searching for something like that diary uh, story that was telling you about. Now the Nine of Pentacles here indicates, Virgo, you are uh, beautiful, gorgeous, independent, self-sufficient. You got your ducks in a row, all that. You're doing good for yourself right now at this point in life. It could be emotionally, mentally, or physically, or monetarily. It can be anything, okay? But I feel like you could be in a good place uh, or a better place and you want to keep this person out. Um, See, again, that feeling of the more you keep this person out, the more they want to come in. 
and the more they want to manipulate you into finding out how you feel about them or how you know uh, what you think of them or what you're doing right now if there is a chance to be with you or to be with you again if both of you are separated um see the four ones again spying either spying uh, on your house like driving past or trying to see if you're home or not that's just for some of you I know people can't do that with where I'm at right now because I live in a condominium like an apartment like really high rise um, but unless th this person is your neighbor some of you could be your neighbor for once okay it's buying on you see what you're doing uh, if you're home something about your lawn something about your porch as well that's what i'm hearing um something new also especially if you've been doing some uh, renovation that's just for some of you very specific now virgo if you prefer to book me for a personal reading that is more way way more accurate because you know it's a personal reading a lot of people tell me that it's very accurate you can book me all info is below and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet if you've been here before or if you find this reading to be helpful um it's free to subscribe okay make sure you subscribe and also give me a like and share this if you want to you can share it to yourself uh share it now whatsapp has that feature where you can share you can share videos to yourself so you can always go back to it and rewatch it if you want to um, but also Virgo, I have a main channel, it's called Chelsea Love Tarot. I usually go live on that channel as well as travel vlog channel. I've been posting a lot of shorts on my travel vlog channel because I want to get rid of a lot of my videos from my phone <clears throat> running out of memory, basically. Um, that's why if you go to my travel channel, if you su you're subscribed to it, you may see recent activities have been very... has. My recent activities have spiked. That's because I'm trying to get rid of a lot of the videos, yeah, in my phone um, to make room for new ones. And I haven't really been like very on top of my travel vlog channel as consistent <clears throat> as I would like it to be. But anyways, yeah, feel free to also subscribe to my travel channel if you want to. Take care, Virgo. I love you. Bye.